everyone, this is Heidi here with another installment of my Cricut Cartridge Review Series. In this episode, I'm going to be talking to you about the Cricut Cartridge Stretch Your Imagination. This is a great basic cartridge to have in your library because not only does it have cuts for most of the basic holidays of the year, it has cuts for uh, baby and wedding, which can also be used for um, anniversary. So this is a great uh, cartridge, a great go-to cartridge to have. The idea behind Stretch Your Imagination is that it gives you a base cut. For example, you can see here on page 63, the base cut is a little birdhouse. And then when you hit the shift key, it stretches that image out. So that's the whole idea behind Stretch Your Imagination. You've got your basic cut and then your stretched out cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go over the function keys on this cartridge and show you some examples of what they look like when they're cut. So let's just start off with the birdhouse, which you'll find on page 63. And this is the base cut of the birdhouse, the base cut. And then when I stretch, well, when I hit the shift key, it stretched it out and it gave me this cut. So there's the birdhouse and there's the stretched out birdhouse. Now the first function key on Stretch Your Imagination is the layers. So for example, I cut the birdhouse in cream and the layers in a patterned paper. So that would be the first function button is the layers function button. These both, both of these were cut at five inches. I did another cut just to kind of show a little variety. This is the snowman that you find on page 57. Here's the base snowman. Open up to page 57. Go. The base snowman right here. And then when I hit the shift key, it stretched him right out. I cut the snowman in the black with using the blackout feature so I could use my face stamps on them. Um, instead of having, as you can see here, the Cricut cuts a little face, I use the blackout feature, which I'll talk about um, again in a couple minutes. Um, so I, the Cricut cartridge took away those little faces, so I was able to use my Peachy Keen stamps on them. So for this guy, I used Christmas Character Face Assortment. And there's a cute little snowman face right there, and I used it for him. And for this guy, the stretched out guy, I used large snowflake and snow faces. And this um, set comes with one, two, three, four little faces to choose from. So this is the set I used for the stretched out snowman, right here. So here's another example of the whole stretched out um, cuts that this cartridge offers you. The next function button is the silhouette function button. And again, here's the, um, the birdhouse, and it gave the silhouette. It cut the green pater patterned paper silhouette with the circle and the little perch for the bird. I put it onto um, a shadow. So I cut the birdhouse in the shadow, using the shadow function, which, let me see, which you can see right here which is this function button, is the shadow function. And then I just layered the silhouette right onto it. So that's what this cut looks like, or this function button looks like. The next function button that this cartridge offers is great. It's a card. This card is a little bicycle and it's found on page 35. And here it is right here. It's the little bicycle. You can see it right here. And basically I cut the little, I cut the card with the bicycle and it gives you like a window, a window. And then I just use some watercolor paints to color it in. The next function button, which goes along with the card, is called the card frame button. And that's right here. So here's the card and here's the card frame. And this gave me the square that I cut in patterned paper 
with the little flower. So that's the layer that I put on top of the card. And that function button is called the card frame. And those two buttons, those two functions go together. So the card and the card frame. This um, cartridge also offers an envelope, which is wonderful. And you'll find the envelope on page 81 under the silhouette. So you'd hit the silhouette button. And that will give you an envelope to go with your card. And this card and this um, envelope were uh, cut at five inches. It gives you a nice little envelope. And I did cut this on the expressions, um, which is larger than the, the smaller, uh, the baby bug. So this was cut on the expressions. Okay. The next function button, which, let's see, page 55. Okay. This little gingerbread boy, um, you, find, you can find on page 55. He's right here. And this little baby is on page 70. Um, I cut these two shapes using the blackout feature, which is right here. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to stamp their faces. So I used my PG Keen stamps, the same PG Keen stamps with the snowman. I also have a little, it looks like a little elf face. And the little elf face worked nicely for the gingerbread boy. And for the baby, I used Simple Sally's Face Assortment. And I used the largest face to do this baby, which is a 1 and 3 eighths face. So using the blackout feature on Stretch Your Imagination, the blackout feature, I was able to then stamp the faces for these two um, cuts that I made. The last thing I just wanted to talk to you about is, which I didn't realize until I started this tutorial, was this cartridge is, well I knew that it was broken into seasons, because if you look at the manual, it starts off in spring, or no, I'm sorry, it starts off in summer, and it gives you a cut that says summer, and then it goes into, I want to say, oh, autumn, next is autumn, and then after autumn, winter, and then after winter, I believe, is spring. Here's spring. So the cartridge itself is broken down into seasons, which is really nice. And each season has its own tree, which I thought was kind of cool. So this would be the summer tree. No, I'm sorry, this is the springtime tree. The springtime tree, the autumn tree, the winter tree, and the summer tree palm tree. So that's kind of neat. It gives you like a tree for each season. This uh, cartridge, one last thing I just want to mention about this cartridge is it does also have birthday. And I think I did not mention that before. But it does have a bus. So you can do back to school layouts or back to school cards for your kids. It's got cute little Halloween cuts. A little spider and, and a jack-o-lantern which is really nice. It's got under the sea, it's got bugs and flowers, it's got an ice cream cone, an autumn leaves, it's got holly berries for Christmas. Here it is, I knew it had a, a birthday cake. So it does, you could do birthday on page 61. It has a birthday cake, it has balloons, and Right here, it has presents. So this is a very, very versatile uh, Cricut cartridge. I think it would be, I think it's a must-have for everybody's Cricut library. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.